Well, my name is Liz Damadia. I'm a research scientist here at the Duke University Marine Lab. I'm the director of the Community Science Initiative. The idea was to find a way to connect the research that is happening here at the Marine Lab with our community through actual community science. We have programs that link kids to real world issues, focus around marine debris and water quality generally. We also deal with issues of community resilience and how communities are resilient with repeat storms. All of those things are things that are on the forefront of people's minds in Eastern North Carolina. One of the activities that we do has kids sort through different types of things that we find on the beach and that we throw away and try and order them in terms of how long till they break up or break down. There are things that stay for hundreds to 350 years and they don't ever go away. They break up into smaller and smaller pieces of microplastic and those microplastics actually can build up in the food chain. Having kids and adults and our community understand that, we can change our reliance on single-use plastic. Individual action can actually make differences, especially locally, and one of the things that our work really works on is positive youth development. And a piece of positive youth development is agency. Having our kids from elementary school to high school feel like they can understand an issue, they can influence and make positive change in their community, that type of agency uh, provides hope. And it's not just hope for the environment, but it's hope in their lives generally. And even if it's small, those very small pieces of hope end up growing. Those kids may never choose an environmental field, but they may always think of the environment even if they are in business or in law. If we connect people around environmental ideas and we learn together, then we have the ability to have a discussion. Those discussions actually are what generate thinking and hopefully ideas and then solutions potentially to some of the environmental problems we'll have because we don't know where the solutions will come from and it's going to come from our <laughs> our students in K-12 through education. 